Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to add an image slider to your website using Adobe Dreamweaver. And this is what I mean by an image slider. Some people might call it a slideshow or an image gallery, but um, it's pretty much the same thing. Now we're on my clothing lines website, AverageKings.com, and it is a work in progress, but I think one of the key features on the home page is this image slider. I think it really adds a nice touch to the whole website. So this is what we're going to be adding uh, to the same website again, uh, just to show you guys how it's done. Now the image slider I'm using is called Nevo Slider or Nivo Slider. It can be found at nivo.dev7studios.com. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now we're just going to be adding some coding uh, found on the support page of this website and I'll just be showing you guys how it's done. It's actually very, very simple. So I'm going to minimize this and I already have uh, the folder downloaded. It's on my desktop right over here and I already have the Average Kings uh, folder over here. And this is just the bare bone basics. I have the index page without the slider. And I have uh, the CSS code for this index page, the images for it, and then I have a folder called slider with three pictures that I'm going to put in this uh, sample or this test slider that I'm going to show you guys. So with that being said, we're going to open up Adobe Dreamweaver, and I already have index.html open. So what I'm going to do is head over to this page, which will also uh, be linked in the video description below. Um, again, this is just the support page on the website. We have a couple things to copy and paste from this page. We have this code right here, the first three lines that are going to go in the header section or the head section. So I'm just going to copy this and head back into Dreamweaver. Now we're going to go all the way up and we're going to paste it right before the closing head tag. Right there. Now what this is, is it has the style sheet and two JavaScript scripts. And um, those scripts could be found in the file that we downloaded. So now we kind of have to minimize this, minimize this, and we're going to go back and just copy and paste those two scripts. So here's the Average Kings folder, and here's the folder of the slider that we downloaded. We're going to copy jQuery.nevo.slider.pack.js. We're going to copy that over. And then we're going we're gonna to copy nevo-slider.css over. Just like that. Now we're going to go back to Dreamweaver and we're going to take a look. So we copied this style sheet over and we copied this script over. The second script over here or the first one that's linked over here is um, actually linked directly from a website. The source is directly found on the website. So we're not going to have uh, the script to keep inside of the folder. Now with that being said, let's go back to the support page and we're going to copy and paste this uh, into the body section. Now this is just the div code or the HTML code that we're going to paste into the website for the actual components of the slider. So we're going to go back into Dreamweaver, scroll down, and I have my header div, which is the navigation, and then right after the navigation, I'm going to paste all of that. So just like that. And it's going to be in the container div for me. So now we have a new div with the ID of slider, and we have a couple images with links. I'm going to replace these links or the sources of these images with the actual uh, sources of the images that I have. As you can see, I have a folder called slider with three images that I want to put in there. So that's what I'm going to link. So slider slash one dot PNG. And then we have a link. We could keep this if we want or we could just delete it. I'm going to keep it just to show you guys what it looks like later. And then the next image slider slash two dot PNG. And this has a caption. We could delete that if we want. And then the next image, slider slash 3.png. And this also has another type of caption. And then we just kind of need to tie everything together. If we scroll down a little bit over here. Um, it says, finally, you need to hook up your script using the window.load function. So we just need to copy this and paste it right after uh, the HTML code for the script. And as you can see on the right side over here, these images pop up. So we're just going to click on File, Save, and we should be done. Now let's go to File, Preview, in Browser, Safari. Give it a second. We have our first image. And then it's going to say, this is an example of an HTML caption with a link. Give it another second. 
and it changes to the second image. This is an example of a caption. And as I told you guys that I'm leaving that there just so you can see what it looks like later. And then the third image with no caption or anything. So there you go. That is the image slider. It was really, really simple. And now it has a really cool looking touch to your website. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys learned something new. Until next time, this is Octotoots.com and I'm going to go ahead and get back to working on AverageKings.com. Later.